Hello everyone, welcome to module 3. In this module, we are going to talk about how to manage users and groups. So we are going to learn from creating groups, modifying users, modifying groups and finally deleting the users and groups. So in the first video, we are going to talk about how to create new user accounts. Now whatever users that are there in the system or whatever users that you create, new users that you create, all the information about every user is stored in a file which is the passwd file. The exact location of this file is slash etc slash passwd. So you can open this file and there will be a lot of users that are already there plus whatever users we create. You can again open this file and you will see the entry for each of the user that you create. So once you open this file, you will see that there are seven columns which contain certain information about the user. Now what is that information? So the very first column entry will be the username. In the second column entry, you will see X which is the password, but the password is in an encrypted form. So you will not be able to see what exactly is the password, which makes sense. The third column is the user ID. The fourth column is the group ID, the ID of the group to which the user belongs. The fifth column is the comment field. If you want to give certain comment regarding the user, then that comment will appear in the fifth column. The sixth column specifies the user's home directory and the final column tells you the login shell that the user is going to use. So this is a short snippet from the etc passwd file. You will see certain entries like this. Now the command used to create the user is user add. So we will specify the command user add and then you can give the username and if you want to specify some of one of those columns, you can otherwise default values will be automatically given by the system. So now let us understand how to use the user add command with some examples. So to create a user account, you must ensure that you have logged in as the root user. Only a root user can create or delete new accounts. A regular user cannot create and neither they can delete a user account. So let us create a new user by using user add command. So you write user add space, give the name of the user. So let's suppose Linux one. The user is created, how I can check. So let's check the entry, the last five entries of etc passwd file. So you can see the last entry is Linux one. So now you can see that by default, the user ID is assigned. The user is assigned to a group whose group ID is also the same as the user ID. So by default, if you create a user without giving the user ID, which is a number to identify a user uniquely in the system, the system will automatically grant it a user ID. Similarly, it will create a group with the same name and the same group ID. Why we need to or why the system creates a group for the user because a user must belong to a group in order to exist in the system. So there cannot be any user which does not belong to any group in the system. Next you can see that this field is empty because we did not provide any comment. This is the user directory or home directory Linux one which is created inside the home directory which is inside the root directory and finally this specifies the shell that the user is going to use. Now let us suppose I want to create a user Linux 2 and I want the user ID of my own choice. So I can give minus u. So I can use the minus u option and then give any ID of my choice. Let's suppose 5465. So if we recheck, so you can see now the user ID is as per my choice but it has created the group also with the same group ID. So how can we check these entries for the group just to verify. So you can cat etc group. So you can see at the bottom Linux 1, Linux 2, these are the groups and these are the group IDs 1, 2, 2, 0 and 5, 4, 6, 5. Now let us try the minus C option which helps us or which allows us to add a comment while creating the user. So let's suppose we create a new user Linux 
3 and I want to give some comment about the user for example I want to say that the name of the user is this right Baljeet Singh Linux 3 is the username whereas Baljeet Singh is the full name of the user okay so I can give it in a comment also now if I view the entries of the etc pass wd file so you can see here and this particular column which was empty for Linux 2 and Linux 1 so there the comment is there so minus C option allows us to add a comment so you see that the password field is always X so it will always be marked as X because the password cannot be shown to anyone but we have not set the password so user add command will not set the password so for that you need to use the pass wd command and then this set the password as per your choice for any particular user now one of the important options to learn with the user add command is user add minus s which allows us to specify the login shell so this is important from the exam point of view also wherein they ask you to allow no login shell for the user so what we need to do is minus s slash s bin slash no login and then give the username so this means that the user will not have a login shell to login into the system again if you check so you can see here it is no login if i view the etc password file in whole you will see there are multiple entries which has no login no login no login shell so there is no login shell for these users okay so generally these are the services not a regular user but a service user the services don't require to be logged in similarly you might want to create a user account but you don't want the user to access the shell to perform any task this is because of some there might be some security reasons for which you want to do this so remember minus s and then you give slash s bin slash no login another option is minus g which allows us to assign the user the newly created user to an existing group so now we have already seen that we can view the existing groups in slash etc group file so let us suppose i want to create a new user which i want to assign to group 1 whose id is 8080 so what I need to do is user add username is Unix, Linux 5 I want this user to be assigned to group 1 not creating a new Linux 5 group so for that I use minus G and then write group 1 now if I check the etc pass wd entry you see here Linux 5 and it is assigned to the group 8080 8080 is the group id of group 1 so a new group is not created that i can also check by looking into the etc group file so you can see there is no linux 5 group that is created because the linux 5 user was assigned to the group 1 so there is another command lid which allows us to view the groups to which the user belongs so lid and then you can write the name of the user linux5 sorry linux5 so you can see it belongs to the group group1 whose gid is 8080 similarly you can check it for any other group or any other user so for linux4 the group name is also linux4 and the group id is 5467 so i hope the use of user at command is clear in the next video we are going to talk about how to modify the existing user accounts